Today I'm going to be showing you how to add motion blur to a video in CapCut PC. So the first thing you're going to need to do is import the video that you would like to add the motion blur to. So we're going to go ahead and click the import button, go to the video that you have saved, click on it, and at the bottom right push open. So now it's in our local library. So what we can do to add it to our track is drag it to our track or we can hover over it and click the little green plus sign that says add to track and now it's in our track okay so once you've done that you can go to effects at the top left and under video effects there should be a basic tab okay so here is the motion blur video effect and we can drag it on top of our video and now it only applies to our video. So let's say you were to click off this blur effect though, and you click back on the video, you can see that the motion blur effect is no longer there. If you would like to continue editing it, right click on the video, go to edit effects at the bottom, and now we can edit the effect once again. You can crop how long this effect lasts on the video by just dragging the ends of the motion blur blue effect and now at the top right we can adjust how it looks like on our video okay so we're going to change the horizontal to 55 so it's still a little blurry but it's not too blurry and we're going to change the strength to 60. okay so now when naruto is running it looks pretty good See, at the ends on the left of his body, you can see little blurs, which makes a good motion blur effect because he's running to the right and the blur is coming off of his left side. Okay, if you want to get a little bit fancy, you can add a slanted blur on top of the video effect that's already there, which is the motion blur. So we're going to make it the length of the video. And once you add it, it looks pretty bad because it's super blurry. But what we're going to do is edit it by going to the top right under effects under the blur we're gonna bring the blur down to 10. see now it's not so blurry and it still looks pretty good and the rotation to 40. okay so now it looks even better because it has more motion blur to the left as you can see here well that's pretty much it make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any questions comment down below and maybe i'll make a video about it see ya